yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, we got Bus a Bus and T.I. Hey yo, these dudes, look, check this out. Your JJ Olatunji, today I'm in my car. You see what I'm saying? It's very possible that I might just be pulling up right beside you. You know what I mean? Or anybody else for that matter. Now check this out. And I couldn't wait, so we had to get this out right now. Yo, Bus a Bus was on Fat Joe's show being interviewed and when it came to the concept of a versus battle right bus a bus came out and said yo man anybody that want the smoke you know what i'm saying he's down to give it to him he said in fact he understands that ti has been calling them out multiple times and he was like i don't understand what ti's fascination is with these new york cats when it comes down to versus battle so matter of fact take a listen to what he had to say about that it is intriguing to me that you have such a concern with New York MCs. I want to understand what that's about, but from one brother that loves you to my brother that knows I love him, I'm begging you to step in the ring with me. I'm a, I'm a bust your ass. And let me tell you something. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We're going to do it with grace. But I'm a, I'm a bust Ti. I'm a bust your ass. C come on, Ti. Let's have fun. Woo! Let's have fun, Ti. This is quick. This is quick. Let me tell you something. Let's I have fun, Ti. Fat Joe damn near fell out his chair. It was beautiful, right? I'm talking about you can if there, if you can see a brain explosion, right? That brain explosion took place when Bus a Bus made that statement. Yeah, I'm accelerating right about now. Yo, let me tell you something, okay? T.I. got wind of Bus a Bus's challenge. And T.I. decided to do an eight minute, uh, whatchamacallit, response to Bus a Bus. Yo, take a listen, and you're probably gonna notice what I noticed. Take a listen. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for my neighbors. Could you be mine? Would you be mine? Yeah, man. What's going on, man? What's going on? Shh. Top of the top to you. Lele, what's happening? Yeah, man, so I done seen all this shit y'all kicking up, man. Y'all miss his hell, man. Goddamn, boss. Bust the buck, bust the boss. Look, bro. I fuck with you, boss. And I, you know, I, re I respect my elders, man. I mean, I just, not, no, no cap. No cap. I ain't trying to be funny about it at all. But just speaking honestly. Buster using leaders of the new school, which came out in that just another case of that. I was a fan of uh, uh, leaders of the new school, still am, you know what I'm saying? And all your shit, bro. But I didn't know we were reaching back, like, you know, th through generations. That's a huge generational gap there, isn't it? That's just like, and I have a huge amount of just an ultra, like, uh, and. and in, like a huge amount of respect for you, exponential amount of respect for you. I can't, you dig what I'm saying? Shh. I mean, the daddy K man, goddamn, give me Melly Mel then, goddamn. Shit, man, you know, that the case. I can't call out Rakim. Like, if Rakim call, I can't, like, well, how am I? That don't, I. Uh. I fuck with you, boss. I fuck with you. I got you know what I'm saying? I ain't no disrespect at all now, bro. You know what I'm saying? But y'all wouldn't put Brandy up against Dion Ward. Can't put Brandy up against Dion Ward. That don't make it just ain't, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's like shh. I don't know, man. Just feel like it's kind of like Mike Tyson and George Foreman. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just like it ain't the time of Mike Tyson and Ali or some shit. It's the timing period. You know, it's just the timing of it all. I ain't, you know, I answer all call outs, 
but I respect you, boss. And but I'm just telling you, kind of, you know, like it's, you know. Um, yeah, man, yeah, but I feel like, but you know what? I feel like, you know, what I'm saying, Buster and LL Cool J. You dig what I'm saying? Like that's the, like that's, you know, that the, that, you know, what I'm saying. You know, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Buster was on scenario, bro. Here we go, yo. Uh, here we go, yo. Uh, so what, so what, so what's the scenario? How the fuck, what the fuck up? I wouldn't even. Man, I was trying to figure out how to break down the 50 slab and get goddamn $130 off of it back then when that shit came out. How am I going? How am I going to do that? You dig? I just, you know, and it ain't no disrespect. I got an exponential amount of respect for you, brother. Buster versus Method Man. That's, you know, that's that's decent. That's definitely decent. That's definitely decent. Um, so shit, you dig? I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to make it feel like, you know. It just ain't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I just don't think. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It just, what, what in the digging in the crates is going on here, man? You know what I mean? Um, but shit, though, I will say though, man, Buster's one of the most phenomenal talents of of, of our time, man. You know what I'm saying? And motherfucking catalog is thick. Motherfucking catalog is thick. It just ain't the same. I didn't know we were. You dig what I'm saying? I can't can't go back right now and play goddamn. Pop one of football, man. You know what I'm saying? If I were to show up at the 12 and under, all right, everybody got there. Who shit? Who my man? Who who I got? Who I got? Got you? You? You said, you know what I mean? You dig? But yeah, I do got there. I, I salute and respect Buster. I, I salute and respect Buster. A whole lot. I just think the generation of gap it might be a little bit, just a little too much, just a little too much, just a little too much on it. You know what I'm saying? Might just be just a little bit much on it, man. You did. Actually, busting Fat Joe wouldn't be bad. You was on the Fat Joe show. Shit, you was busting Fat Joe. Y'all like right behind in the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. But shit, man, I heard Buster got, you know what I'm saying, got a new album coming out, and that shit gonna be crack. I already know. I can't wait. I uh, can't wait to hit a motherfucker with, uh, I heard Buster got one with, with ODB. Shit, my man. Man, shit, my man. I can't, you know what I mean? But we gonna figure it out, though. We don't figure that. But I appreciate the consideration, though, Buster. I really do, man. Truly, I truly do appreciate the consideration, and you know what I'm saying. I thank you for all of your contributions to the culture. You dig what I'm saying? Got nothing but respect for you. Got nothing but respect for you. You dig what I'm saying? Um, somebody say so. Ti, if not Buster, then who? Oh yeah, shit, Twister and Buster, that shit gonna be cold. That shit be cold. Um, and somebody said, so if not Buster, then who? Man, to be honest with you, bro, I feel like I called that. You know, I picked, I picked who I thought was, you know, what I'm saying my bitch, my bitch shot. And everybody keeps saying, you know, everybody keeps saying me and young, me and young, me and young. Incredible amount of respect for Young and the catalog. That's a you know a personal partner of mine. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, but if Young wanted this smoke, he'll say it. I know Young. If Young wanted this smoke. If Young wanted this action, he'll say it. So until Young say something, that shit just talk. Okay, now. Now, if y'all will excuse me, I must sit down and begin my my interview obligations for today. You know, I feel like, you know, me and Buster would be like me going and calling that. Uh, if I were to say, 21 Savage, I want to see you. 21 Savage, I want to see you.
21 Savage, me and you on verses. That just don't make no, you know what I mean? But, I do think, uh, that goddamn, that shit with, that shit with y'all. If y'all want to see it, tell him to say something. Y'all want to see it, tell him to say something. Tell him to call my name and watch don't I show up. If that's the case. If that's the case. But, until then, we'll just wait and see. Alright? Now I'm going to get to work. Y'all be cool. Now, I think the phrase is called, uh, what is it, like, respectfully decline or something to that effect, right? He, I mean, he humbly declined. Uh, T.I., I like the way he kind of approached it, right? I, I like what he tried to do. T.I. came off on some old, yo, man, you know, we generations apart. We ain't in the same weight class. I get it. You see what I'm saying? Like, I get That's like Nassim Hamed fighting Mike Tyson. We're in a different weight class, okay? Uh, the, he also came off like, yo, man, I don't really want no sweat. Now, a lot of people look at how T.I. came off and was like, yo, man, just keep it a buck, T.I. You're scared, okay? King of the South is scared of the King of the North. I, did I say King of the North? I can't say that because Bussa did not proclaim himself to be a King of the North. In fact, Take a listen at what Bussa Bus had to say to T.I. Hey, yo, Tip, you my brother, and I love you very much, King. And I'm proud of you with your new album called Libra that you just put out. Shit is actually an incredible body of work, King. I do want to say this, though, beloved. It's okay to let people know that you back down from this versus offer. It is okay. Ain't that right, Fuzzy, Mr. Connector? <laughs> it's okay, right? Come on now, let's, let's, let's be honest. It's okay, Tip. You, you respectfully declined. I guess that's the fancy way to say that you turned down this versus battle. Um, you want to talk about generational gap? That's a very respectful way of not saying that you don't really want to sit in the smoking section with me and that you actually just turned down the opportunity to do this versus battle with me. It's cool, Tip. You can see it, King of the South. You can see it now. You should just say it, man. Just let the world know Truly that you ain't want this bus ass that you was about to get. It's okay. Because see, the difference between me and you, my brother, and we both kings. I'm actually a god. Excuse me. I'm a god of this thing. I don't run from no situation. And age don't make no difference to me. You know what makes the difference? The work that you put in. Because it don't matter when you came out. You know what I'm saying? I know people that have been out before me that I put out more albums than them after I came out after them. It ain't got nothing to do about generation. It got everything to do with how much work you could give a motherfucker when it's time for them to get this work. I did my job and I continue to do it. Not only by significantly contributing to the culture, but any time I needed to hand out a bus ass, it didn't matter if an elder statesman was on stage or a newer artist younger than me was on stage. None of them roles don't factor in when we all gotta get on the same stage and do what we do. What you gonna say? I ain't performing on the same lineup with this artist because he too much younger than me, so it ain't gonna be fair for me to go on and do my job because of a generational gap. No, you're gonna go up there and you're gonna still whoop his ass the best way you motherfucking know how to. So let's not make no excuses, King. Just tell the people you was really not ready to get this ass whooping on the world stage. That's the truth. Now, to the rest of the world, again, I'll repeat, whoever, wherever, whatever, as a matter of fact, I don't mind going up against two different artists in the same verses. By myself. Swiss Timberland, y'all might want to think about that. It'll be a first. Some groundbreaking shit. Anybody who wants smoke, please respond accordingly. Y'all know what to do.
extinction level event two, October 30th, 2020. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Have a good evening. Hey, yo, 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 check this out, check this out, right? It makes complete sense. Yo, back in the day, right? You're like, oh, here we go with the back in the... Back in the day, 1991, I heard an album from Leaders of the New School, Future Without a Past, okay? Case of the PTA came out. I was like, yo, man, that group is hot. The dude in the middle, he's kind of tight, okay? My boys came through with the album. They was like, yo, check this album out. Listen to this track. Uh, matter of fact, listen to the whole album. I got the album. Listening to the whole thing, I'm like, yo, man, there's a track on there. My boys is like, yo, there's a track on there. Sound of the Zekas, the last dude on the track, bus a bus, slayed it. Back in the days when you had a posse cut, that means there's a bunch of people on the track. Whoever was last, it, that's like the dude. You see what I'm saying? You know it with Sound of the Zekas. You know it when you hear Scenario. You follow what I'm saying? And with Scenario, you know Bus a Bus was the final one on the track. Just to make sure you walk away knowing who to respect. You follow what I'm saying? I heard Feminine Fat. I was like, yo, Bus a Bus is my guy. That's that's like, that is the dude. You see what I'm saying? My number one rock him, number two, Bus a Bus. And it makes complete sense because when last I heard, Rakim stated his top guy was Bus a Bus. So I'm like, okay, it's absolutely consistent for me to have them as the number one and the number two. Yo, he did not refer to T.I. <laughs> my fault. He didn't refer to himself as a king. Well, initially he did, but then he had to bring it back and then throw out there, I'm not a king, I'm a god at this. Now, here's the thing, right? I ain't in the blasphemy. You follow what I'm saying? I'm not a big fan of when uh, MCs try to call themselves gods and whatnot in the whole nine yard, okay? When it comes down to the hip hop game, if there is an MC that's trying to proclaim themselves to be a god MC, I'm only giving that title to two people. You're like, well, wait a minute, more people have proclaimed that. Yeah, I'm giving it to two. I said two, okay? I'm giving it to Rakim. I'm giving it to Bus a Bus. You're like, yeah, but what about you? Never mind that dude, okay? That dude ain't nowhere near in comparison. None of them are. When it comes down to, yo, who's a god MC at this? Yo, yo your boy Bus say he could take on multiple people at the same time. You ain't, you ain't effing with that. You're not effing with that, man. Ain't no one can see this dude. Yo, if you think someone else can see Bus a Bus, you're out of your mind. All these new cats, all these new cats is coming out, like they all might as well be like, yo, you know what? Pay homage. Just pay homage, cause that's what it is. Hey yo, let us know what you think. But I know what you're gonna say has got to be consistent with what I'm saying, which is can't nobody see this dude. Give me some more. I mean, come on, man. L like, ain't nobody seeing this dude. Yo, let us know what you think. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for celeb news.